Hey there, welcome back to another video. This time I thought this would be a nice video to make in honor of actor John Hurd, who has sadly recently passed away. He passed away uh, at the age of 72. And um, I wanted to make this video because I feel, I've always felt that John was a very underrated actor and when you see all the the news reports and a lot of people talking about John Hurd, a lot of people just call him the Home Alone Dad. And there were even people who were good friends with John who were even like, stop calling him the Home Alone Dad. I mean, he he's more than that. And I agree. I mean, when I was a kid, I grew up watching Home Alone, and I would have to say that was probably the first one, first role that came to mind. But I want... But as the years went by and I discovered films like Chud and Deceived and other movies that he was in, the Home Alone performance became one of my least favorite roles of his career. He did fine in Home Alone, but in terms of sheer acting, in terms of his ability, that doesn't even really showcase nearly as much that he had. I mean, he has so much more acting ability than what is shown in Home Alone or in Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. So this is my personal list of my top five best John Hurd roles. And um, you can agree to disagree. I mean, there's probably some uh, some films that he's been in that I haven't actually seen, so I can't really put them on the list, there's one uh, that isn't a film that I have on the list. It's a, it's a performance that he had in a TV show. I, I, I decided to include that because I thought it was actually a really solid performance. And uh, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? I'm going to start off with number five. Number five is his performance in the episode of Tales from the Dark Side, Ring Around the Redhead, from the second season, from season two. He played a wonderful everyman, this guy who encounters this uh, sort of uh, a portal uh, to another world. And he finds this uh, girl that is a part of this world that he ends up bringing into our world. And they form this relationship with one another. And it's pretty it's fairly sweet. And overall, I thought John Hurd really did a wonderful job with this character and with this performance. It really does showcase how great he was at playing this type of everyman, unassuming type of character, this type of guy who just is like a everyday, you know, normal Joe, you know, nobody that's like super over the top, you know, it was just this type of guy that you could relate to because you could see a lot of yourself, a lot of qualities uh, that you would have in him. And, it's I, I always enjoyed the episode. I thought he was one of the main reasons why this episode, which had kind of an absurd kind of concept, he ended up making it work out because of his acting ability, because of his acting talents. Um, but yeah, it's a fairly short... It's only like 20-something minutes. It's a Tales from the Dark Side episode, so uh, it's a fairly short segment, so it's not like there's a lot uh, of extra stuff there for him to really cut his acting chops but it was a very early role for him uh the episode aired in 1985 so it, it was an early role for john he cut his teeth on it and i thought he did a really solid job with the with the role and I, one of the he's one of, he's definitely one of the reasons why i like that episode ring around the redhead now number four for me is his role as michael carnes in betrayed now, Betrayed is a film that I reviewed on my channel a long time ago, but I'd like to review it again someday. This is a pretty hard-hitting film. I think it could be a bit better in terms of its pacing, but overall, I would have to say I did. I remember liking the film. I It's just it's one of those movies that has a really intense plot. And subject matter, it's really intense. It deals with race, racism, the KKK. And uh, John Hurd plays this character who is not who you think he is. 
he starts out as this kind of ally to Deborah Winger's character because he he's her boss, and then you find out that he's in on it. He's a part of everything. And when you discover that, he really does nail this just sadistic role of this guy who is just a big part of this Ku Klux Klan organization and uh, is just ruthless. So, yeah, John Hurd, this is definitely a great film to check out to see uh, John Hurd's capabilities as an actor. And it's it's a fairly overlooked movie, too. So this this is definitely a good one to check out if you haven't to, to see John Hurd's abilities as an actor. Um, number three for me is his role in Cat People. Here he plays another kind of everyman, a kind of guy who you relate to, who's likable. Uh, in, in Cat People, he plays this character named Ol- Oliver Yates. And he becomes sort of a love interest for Irene, played by Natasha Kinski. And there's this uh, sort of dyna- there's this nice dynamic between the two, and they have good chemistry with one another. And it's a tragic love story because uh, Oliver has to eventually let Irene go, and Irene's worried about making love to Oliver because she doesn't know what might happen. And, you know, eventually things end up not working out really for the best. But it was a character that you felt very sympathetic for and definitely one of John Hurd's best performances is in Cat People. There's another one I definitely recommend if you want to see more of John Hurd. Now, number two of my favorite uh, John Hurd roles is in Deceived with Goldie Hawn. I, I reviewed this film on my channel a while back, so you can go check that out if you'd like if you'd like to hear more of my thoughts on this film. This is a movie that I do feel is very underrated. I think it's a really solid, quite excellent thriller, to be honest. Um with a really great performance by Goldie Hawn. This is a film that proves that Goldie Hawn can pull off a role like this in a serious thriller. Because she really didn't do a lot of films like this. She just played the comedic role. And she's really great at that. She's phenomenal at that. But uh, I do agree that Newsweek, Goldie Hawn's performance is compelling. I agree with that. And she's great. But so is John Hurd. John Hurd plays her character's husband in the film, Jack Sanders. Who has this, much like his character in Betrayed, has this secret... Uh, sort of past there's this reveal that's actually really well done where you find out about his true identity and and he's essentially the villain of the film and he really does a great job turning the nice guy uh, attitude and persona that so many people have attached to John Hurd he does a great job turning that on its head in this film as well as in Betrayed and 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 uh, other films but really these are the two ones I, I i can i think of when i think of john hurd just being a brilliant bad guy i mean he is such a asshole in this but he does it so well um this is definitely one i highly recommend uh, check this out if you have it or you know if you can find it uh to really show uh the the underrated ability that John Hurd possessed as an actor. This film to me, I saw it a while back on VHS and it blew me away because of how great John Hurd was. And that's why I I wanted to go in and and check out other films that he was in. And, you know, I saw Betrayed and I've seen a few others. Um, And this is, this is definitely one of the films that really made me a big fan of his as an actor. I, I, I personally feel he ranks as a pretty underrated, overlooked actor for me. He's if I made a list of underrated actors, you know that he probably wouldn't be in the top ten, but maybe in the top twenty, because I think he just there's so many solid performances that he's delivered throughout his career, and it just doesn't seem like he gets recognized or noticed that noticed that much for them, even after his death, which is just really 
tragic to me. And that, that's another reason why I wanted to make this video because I want it to be there for people who, if they look up John Hurd, they don't just automatically think Home Alone. You know, they think, okay, wow, this is an actor who actually did more than just play the dad in the Home Alone movies. And this is a prime example of that. Definitely give this a look sometime. I highly recommend it. And my number one favorite John Hurd role is his role in Chud, Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers. Um, this was the film that also, uh, along with Deceived, that really showed me how talented John Hurd was, how multifaceted he is as an actor. And I was just like, wow, okay, I, I really like this film. I like the movie. I liked his role. Uh, it's my favorite role of his and my favorite film that he's in. Uh, he plays a character named George Cooper, who is this very likable guy who is this down-on-his-luck photographer who's struggling to make ends meet and is trying to work on this photography project. He stumbles across uh, the Chud, the cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers, while he's trying to research this bout of these homeless people living in the sewers. And you also have Daniel Stern, who was in Home Alone. He's in this as as one of his friends, and they team up, and they try to solve the mystery. And it's got a very Larry Cohen-type vibe to it. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cult classic to me. It's, it's an underrated movie. I, I've always enjoyed Chud. So, and John Hurd is just fantastic in the role as George Cooper. So... Yeah, those are my top five personal favorite best John Hurd roles. Um, feel free to leave in the comments down below any other uh, picks that you might have uh, that that you personally think are noteworthy. Uh, and I, I really do highly encourage you to go in and check out some of these films if you haven't already to really see how much I'm just trying to think of the right word here to really see how wide of a breadth or, or a space or talent John Hurd really had you know to really see for yourself that he was so much more than just the dad from Home Alone and my heart goes out to his family, to his friends, and I can't even imagine what they're going through right now, and may John rest in peace, and I hope he's in a happier place now, and um, yeah, I, I will always remember him, not, not for playing Peter McAllister, but for playing George Cooper and Chud, and some of these other characters that he played in these other films and, and TV shows that I mentioned in this video. Um, he will always be remembered to me, who will always live on through his films, and I will always be there to back him up, you know, to stand up for him, to be the guy who's like, no, he's more than just the dad from Home Alone. He's so much more than that, and I wish he actually had more films that he could have done that roles that he could have taken to really make that point solidified to really make that a point that gets hammered home to people that he's not just the dad from home alone but anyway thanks for watching uh the video and uh as always i will see you guys later see ya